We're set for Sunday afternoon baseball from Progressive Field in downtown Cleveland. Today we wrap up this four-game weekend series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Cleveland Indians. Indians baseball is next. Number 43, a native of Connecticut, will be doing the pitching in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big. Afternoon. They come in trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, five and two over their last seven. Hey, this is a big yeah, Dan. They need to find a way to win this one today. Get on the flight. Makes everybody's dinner taste better. Nine game road trip coming up. A lot of packing involved, a lot of grinding on the road. They need to find a way to win this last one at home. Now a moment as we take a look at the Jays starting nine for this one. What's the word on them as they try to split? Once again, a 3 2. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. All a part of learning how to pin it middle away. Might be a great time to get super aggressive. And he is out on the tag. And Cesar Hernandez. At least, dear old, this is the one. They lose the first two games of this series, win game three. They'd like nothing more than to split this series and win game four. Yeah, Bobby Cox always used to say, you got to take care and beat the teams you're supposed to win today. They split this series and move on. Time now in Cleveland to take a glance at the Tribe's starting lineup. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, one of their hotter hitters has been Carlos Santana. He's working on a six-game hit streak right now. That's almost a week, so I expect to see his hot hitting continue. Nobody on. Grounded back up the middle. Bichette loves it on to first, and there are two down. Dorna is past history with Hunjin Ryu. He's one for three. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. He'll whip this one to first in time. That is good. Now pitch on the way. Line drive to left. And the Blue Jays break into the hit column as that's a base hit. So let's get off to towards starts. Some guys struggle. This is one that struggled, but maybe that single gets him going. In there, a base hit. The throw to third. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Blue Jays leave a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Does he bounce something in the dirt? Does he go elevated fastball? A lot of options at hand right now. Hard hit ball to second. And this gets through into right, so he turns the 0-2 count into a leadoff base hit. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And a good effort as he's able to gather it in and make the play for the first out. Up. Tellez over to his left. And that's the second out of the inning. Richard is there. And that ends the inning. In Here's Randall Gritchick, and he'll start out their half Leading of the third, the top of the order to follow. Right fielder, Randall Gritchick. First offering on its way. Into center field, line drive base hit. He'll get it into second. But it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. Hey, after that hit right now there, Dero, that is his hitting off. streak. A lot of pitches, too. Now the payoff pitch home is swung on and missed. He got him. Stepping up now, Kevin Biggio. He's swinging the bat well in the series. Five for 12 so far. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. And the off balance throw will be too late. So a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. Hey, after that base knock right there, he's in the double digits. Now a spin and a throw back to second, and they got him. Now another one two. This is hit softly to third. Oh, and he misses it. 
And this will go down now as an that. E5 as you Number can see 44. the exasperation. Going, Ready with the first going, pitch. Here it comes. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time. And how about that for Daring? It's a two-out double steal. Well, that definitely caught me off guard there. That wasn't exactly the typical steal situation with two outs and a runner on second. I can't say I agree with the strategy, but at the same time. A ball and no strikes. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Hernandez over to his left. Throw on to first is in time, and the Toronto rally goes. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. That one going for extra bases off the bat. Hit hard to third. And that's through on the left, a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with no positives going on right now. On its way, the 0 1 pitch takes this the other way to right. Richard is there. Let's see if they try it. And they decide it's one thing and one thing only get a double play. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. For the lead. So the count's gone from 0-2 to 3-2. Ah. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Anytime you get rookies just breaking into the, the big bat. leagues, you have to That's expect a certain stuff. amount of this. Right. There aren't Let's any go. easy at-bats at this level, yeah. and you Whoa. really have to learn how to slow the game down in your head because everything feels like it's so much faster up here. McGuire is there and he puts this one away for the third out. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count now 0 2 and then the start working base. outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Toward second. Pitch inside the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. We're back to progressive field in. Hit hard up the middle. A dive, but he can't. He loses him on ball four. First pitch coming. Here it is. Lifted the other way to left center. Luplo on the move. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And a daring move there pays off as he'll make it into third on the floor. Travis please. Shaw will look to provide a little punch please. off the bench as the 1 0. Popped him up. Leon over to his right. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away from the stretch smoke toward third and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over Blue Jays leave a pair and this is still a nothing nothing ball game this game is way too close to be walking guys so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch and that's in for a base hit make it a one for three games so far not in time and he's in there with a double I'll tell you that's one of the base hoping at first he's going to grind out and try and get this guy to swing something outside the zone and that's in there base hit throw comes in quickly here so that'll hold that go ahead run at third now with still okay. only one he had to wait to the seventh inning in this one to come through and the runner's coming home and a late squeeze attempt and it looks like it's gonna work so they get the out at first but the run will score on the suicide squeeze so a gutsy Number call eight. there as that takes some Jordan. serious stones to call the suicide Ooh, squeeze whoa. this late in the game but the go-ahead run comes in to score This is line to left. Solid base hit for him his first of the afternoon. So the two out hit keeps the top of the eighth inning extended. And he'll scramble back to first safely. Now batting designated hitter Travis Shaw.
the 0 and 1 delivery. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. It's gone. They've taken the lead in the A's. It's a two run shot to straightaway left and it's now a one run ball game. Yeah, everyone in the stadium, including the guy in the mound, knew it was just a matter of time until this guy cranked one out of here. Well, that's the first one of the year, and many more are sure to follow. Open as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll exit after a good seven and two thirds, but he'll also be on the hook for the L unless things get turned around here. Dominic Leone will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 56. Dominic Leone. The 2 0 on the way. Hit on the ground to short. Lindor is right there. He had a close play at first, but he's called out of the side as with. Line to the right side, and that'll make him one for four in this one. There we go. Offered out and missed. Here's the throw. He's going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Not a one run game, so that's a little risky. But hey, sometimes you have to be aggressive and force the other team to stop you. Tellers in foul ground. He's got it, and there are two down now. Lifted in the air out to center field. McKinney giving chase. He can't get there as it falls in. And they come back to tie it up as it's now a 2-2 ball game. You know, D-Row, in today's game, How it's not it? easy scoring the in the late innings. They'll try to walk right off field. winners in the bottom Tyler. half. And that a strike way. called at the He rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Swing and a miss hitting good, but he's been swinging a bat so well lately. I don't think he minds this one bit. And he'll try to get him fishing. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 2, but now that they. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Hit in the air to center field. McKinney is there and he has it for the first out. High and deep to straightaway right. Make one ranging back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. The relay. Wow, he was willing that thing to get out of here. Would have given them the lead right here late in the game. Here's the first pitch. Swinging a soft liner and a reach, but he can't get there as it falls. And he is out at the plate, trying to take the lead, but this game's going to remain deadlocked as the inning is over. So it's no run on two base hits, no errors. Hard hit ball to second, and that will find its way into right field for a one out single. But this guy's looking to end this right now and put something in a gap. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. There's one, but they won't get two as he beats. Here's the first pitch. This is line to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw comes in quickly, but the winning run is in scoring position now with. A bouncer up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw to the plate. And the Indians walk up as winners. Well, the way things unfold, you kind of had a sense that this thing was going to end in dramatic fashion. And that's exactly what happened. A walk-off for the win? Wow.